Welcome to the Santa Monica Beat. I'm Julie Garcia. In today's top story, the Altbuild Expo displayed some alternative energy resources at the Civic Auditorium this past weekend. The Beat's Michelle Hummel was there. Businesses demonstrated different ways to conserve energy and live greener at home at the 9th Annual Altbuild Expo. We've seen a consistent increasing interest level and attendance here at the show. Also with the exhibitors, in terms of attendance, it's certainly increased every year. And actually interest in the community, just more and more people are hearing about green and they're getting interested in what they can do in their own homes. We work with milk jugs. HDPE is what it's called. It never breaks down. You don't want it in landfill, but it makes great outdoor furniture. Uh, it's resistant to heat, chemicals. It's so durable. We design houses specific to each client, but they use prefabricated elements. They, we use the shells of uh, light gauge metal buildings, which are normally used as warehouses, but it's a very flexible system and we turn them into houses. This conference is about growth and sustainable growth. Wildlife is getting pushed out. Think of the health of communities. If people are working towards healthy environment for wildlife, that's healthy environment for people and kids as well. The Outbuild Expo showcased numerous ways to go green in your everyday life. The exhibitors said more and more people are becoming environmentally conscious and showed a sustainable lifestyle as a way of the future and does not require much sacrifice. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Michelle Hummel. Thank you, Michelle. For all you high school seniors, West LA College is having an open house on Saturday. Here's what's in store. Saturday, May 19th. See what's new at West Los Angeles College. Made possible by voter-approved construction bonds. Learn how to transfer from a community college to universities. New financial aid rules. Get information on majors and careers. Food, music, kids' sports clinics, and more. It's all free. Visit WLAC.edu for information and your free parking pass. Don't miss the West Open House. Also on Saturday, the annual Santa Monica Festival will be at Clover Park. Music, food, and dancing will bring the community together to celebrate the city's businesses and its sustainable lifestyle. The event starts at 11. Also, Refined Mixers hosted a workout for charity at Santa Monica Beach Saturday morning. Gym instructors led aerobics, yoga, and boot camp exercises to raise awareness for Waves for Water, a nonprofit that provides clean water to communities in need around the world. We're trying to represent a lifestyle, the modern, what we call the modern lifestyle, and that's people that are becoming more health conscious. It's about appreciating what you have, living life to the fullest, and, uh, and being thankful, and, and part of that is, is giving back. And so Waves for Water is a great charity, and we felt like they were a great partner for that reason. Their mission is pretty simple, and that is to get clean water to every single person who needs it. But the organization is great. The natural disaster is taken, you know, Haiti and, and lots of people are out of clean water and they're trying to rectify that situation. They obviously are very happy to have our support and we're happy to support them. Doing something in our community, on the beach, for a great cause. We just feel like this is a great event and we're really pleased with the turnout and we hope everybody's having a good time. The event raised $1,000 for the cause. And Active Ride Shop in downtown Santa Monica held a local art show on Friday night. The Beats of Isha Shea has the story. Skateboarders and art lovers packed Active Ride Shop on Friday night for Act Social, an exhibit featuring young artists from the Santa Monica area. It's really focused around like uh, like the social side of like skateboarding because you know like there's the whole friends we make like hanging out skating. Personally, a lot of my friends that I grew up around skating we're always painters and illustrators and graph artists, so the show is just celebrating it. This is the first major skate crowd. Usually it's not the ones I'm in. Usually it's either a fine one or just kind of maybe just a random shop somewhere that asked me. I was like, okay, cool. Any recognition is good recognition. As you can see, people just don't skate. They're artists, they're musicians. They're a lot more than one category. And that's what this is so, what we love about this is that, you know, just it's not a pigeonhole thing. The Santa Monica area is known for its extreme sports as well as its art scene and this event brought the two together. The people that showed up tonight got a sneak peek at some up and coming art while supporting a local business. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Avija Shea. Thank you Avija. This Sunday the Westside Vikings football team is holding an open registration. Here's how to get your athlete involved. Trouble. Well, you're all good. Face to face. Lift your chin, set your shoulders, plant your feet, and take a brace. When it's being try to dodge it. Do the best that you can do. Do the best that you can do. Fail, but you may conquer. See it through. See it through. Black may be the clouds about you, and your future may seem grim. But don't let your nerves hurt you. Keep yourself fighting true. Keep yourself fighting true. If the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do. 
Running from it will not save you. See it through. See it through! Even hope may seem a futile. When there's troubles, you'll be sad. What? Just remember you're facing. We're the man and man. We're the man and man. You may fail, but fall still fighting. Fall still fighting! Don't give up. Do whatever you do. Eyes front, head high to the finish. See it through. See it through! And now for sports, here's Spencer Lee. Thank you, Julie. I am Spencer Lee. Saturday marked the first time Sam Ohio had faced crossroads in anything, despite the fact that both schools share the Santa Monica city limits. And in this boys' volleyball game, there was a lot on the line. The reigning CAF champion Vikings went into Grisanti Gym facing a Roadrunners team that had played nine sets in their last two games. But all those sets seemed to build some chemistry. Aaron Lipp gets the pass from Willie Ganza and that goes down. Then Ethan Kahn tries to set up Dane Kekin and Lipp with denial. Then Ganza gets some love of his own as he blasts the ball off Samo. The Roads went up two games to zip and had the champs on the ropes. But the Vikings figured it out. Third set, Kahn sets up Trevor Pye. It's good. Then Kahn to Spencer Kramer. Rhodes can't handle it. Fourth set, Kramer is going to get this one too. Suddenly, we're tied at two games apiece, and Samo unloads in the fifth. Kahn finds Kekin, and Kekin finds the floor. And finally, Kahn to Kramer. Quick hit, quick point, and just like that, the champs are still in the playoffs with a five set win. It was a great showing for both teams, but one had to go down. With the win, Samo High moves on to the CIF semifinals to face Campbell Hall tomorrow. Back to you, Julie. And that does it for us. Be sure to check us out next Monday at 9 a.m. Also, be sure to check out Marley Mendoza on the 7 Day Show Thursday. She found a new comedy club that hosts two shows every weekend. Until next time, I'm Julie Garcia for the Santa Monica Beat, brought to you by Diamond Foam and Fabric.